Also tonight here, we're uncovering a local Tampa Bay connection to the Vegas shooting. A Tampa father who found out his son was right in the middle of the crowd when he turned on the news. I got a text uh, that said uh, from my son, who's a Los Angeles police officer. <laughs> we have gotten out. We have secured the ladies and we'll get back to the hotel. I'll talk to you later. At 1.58 a.m. Monday morning. Made it out of where? When I turned the, the news on, then I knew exactly what he was talking about. Jim Diamond discovered his son was right in the middle of the Las Vegas massacre. He had just gone from Los Angeles with his lady and some other officers on Friday to celebrate her birthday. He and the other officers recognized the gunfire for what it was relatively quickly and then began evacuating and funneling people outside of the venue. Supersonic rounds traveling at, at 25 to 3,000 feet per second, they actually break the uh, sound barrier and you hear them slap. It's like taking a, two pieces of two by four and slapping together real, it's a flat crack. And that's what he and his, his friends were hearing. Jim himself is no stranger to gunfire. He's a 34-year veteran of the Tampa Police Department. Whenever you go into a crowd of people, you'll see two people with their heads up, the good guys and the bad guys. His son, a 29-year combat veteran who served multiple tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, now with the LAPD, a good guy in a crowd of victims. We take an oath to do the job, and it doesn't really matter what venue we're in or what time of day it is. We still are what we are. And thank God they were there. Jim says that his son believes that unfortunately many of the injuries that have been attributed to the shooter were more likely caused by the stampede from people injuring themselves trying to get out.